hello team and welcome back to the channel so before we start the video i would request you please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 30,000 subscribers also if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe okay also team for those who want dedicated sessions for cloud uh, devsecops and cloud devops from scratch make sure you can check out this link in the description and this is the course that is starting from today itself uh, this is completely real-time focus everything i'll be explaining from scratch how things happen in companies with hands-on and everything in this course uh, 10 projects are there different kind of projects mi including microservices based projects with hands-on implementation and 10 projects of corporate reference will be there uh, using which you can understand how tasks are being done with respect to devops and corporate okay so if this interests you make sure to subscribe uh, make sure to check it out and you can enroll with 25 dis percent discount as of now and the cost uh, cost is 6000 after discount okay okay so now coming to today's topics so let me introduce you to a scenario so in previous company uh, we had one jenkins job which is which was uh, running uh, to create certain products okay and that job used to run for multiple hours sometimes days depending on the size of the product that we used to create okay so uh, we already have configured uh, like email configuration so whenever job was getting completed we used to receive notifications over email okay but to in order to make it more uh, like interesting what we did we decided to integrate jenkins with uh, microsoft teams so what we did we created a microsoft teams group okay and basically inside that we created a channel so every time if our jenkins job was success jenkins job failed or jenkins job was un unstable it was aborted or this kind of whatever status was there we used to receive the notification in our microsoft teams as you can see in the screen so for example <coughs> if jenkins job is success we simply receive the notification that build is success and it was started by aditya right second if the jenkins job failed so we used to receive the similar kind of notification along with a link to go to the failed job right so this was a very good way and very uh, like proper we, properly it was integrated so that we can receive the notification in our uh, microsoft teams uh, uh, group okay so yeah that's exactly what i'm going to show you today from scratch how to configure microsoft teams and jenkins and then connect them together so that you can receive the notification for your jenkins jobs to microsoft teams okay and this is one of the tasks that you can even add in your resume that this is one of the kind of poc that you did uh, integration of microsoft teams with jenkins so that you can receive the notifications okay yeah so with that being said let's get started okay team so in this video we are going to talk about how we can connect our microsoft teams with jenkins okay so main purpose for doing this is that we can be notified about the status of our jenkins job for example if the build is aborted if the build failed or if the build is success build unstable or build to normal all of the status we can be notified so for example let's say we have some uh, jenkins job which is which runs for long hours right so we cannot sit and monitor the status of the Jenkins job. So for that purpose, this method of connecting Jenkins with Microsoft Teams will be really useful. So that as soon as the build is completed or failed or anything else like that, the status, we can receive it in our Microsoft Teams group. Okay. And this is one of the tasks that I used to do previously. There was a POC and I implemented this and showcased and then we started doing this. Okay. So for that, what we need? Uh, we need a uh, microsoft teams and jenkins and let me show you how we are going to uh, so complete this whole process okay <laughs> okay so as you can see currently i am on microsoft teams and you need to click on this section which says teams and we need to create a separate team for our for ourselves okay click on from scratch make sure that your uh, team that you are creating it's private okay now let's give a name to our team so name we can give as jenkins build team okay because because of the purpose i'm naming this jenkins build team and in description also we can write as jenkins build notification jenkins notification right so now we can click on create and this will create the team let's wait for it okay so the team has been created now we need to add some member so let's provide the uh, name name 
or to some person that we want to add so i will add one of my friend and let's click on close now the team has been created okay now what we can do we need to create a channel for the team and this is the team that we have created right so i can click on this more options click on channel okay now we need to provide the channel name so <coughs> i'm gonna provide the name as build notification status build notification status okay and now in description also similar kind of thing we can just put let me copy this get this one okay and yes so now we can click on add <sighs> now the channel has been created right it is creating the channel for our group for our team that we have created right so let's wait for it so the channel is created now what we need to do we need to click on these three dots and now we need to click on connectors so basically we need to have connector <coughs> for jenkins right so we can search here as jenkins okay and you see this option comes uh, which is a connector for jenkins so we will click on add and here you can click on add so that this connector is added in your uh, channel right okay so now again we are going to go here go on connectors and if i again search jenkins you can see this time it is visible but <coughs> instead of option add it is giving the option configure right so we can click on this okay now it is asking for a name that we need to give for this jenkins connection okay so again i'm gonna type the name as jenkins build notification okay click on create <sighs> okay so we are giving the name to connection and yes okay so this is interesting now this is done and we got our webhook url and this is the url which we are going to use okay this is the url that will be used for connecting jenkins to our teams okay so, <coughs> so make sure that you are cop you have copied this url because it's going to be needed right <coughs> now what we need to do we need to set up our jenkins and install certain plugins in our jenkins so let me show you that as well okay team so now we have created channel and uh, teams and channel inside microsoft teams now we need to set up jenkins and configure it so that we can receive the notifications of our jenkins jobs okay so i have set up jenkins using the instructions given on this page i will link i will put the link of this page in description as well so that you can follow the same things okay just remember like before installing jenkins you need to have jdk installed on your virtual machine or whichever server you are going to set up jenkins okay okay so once your jenkins is installed first thing that you need to do is go to manage jenkins and here go to plugins in plugins you need to click on available plugins and here we are going to search for basically we need to install a plugin okay so the plugin that we need to install is called as office 365 this one connector office 365 connector so <coughs> we will select it and we will click on install and scroll down to see the status and here once yeah you can see it is success now so now let us create our jenkins job okay so we will click on create a job let's provide a name as test dash job okay and let's create pipeline click on okay <coughs> now the job is created right and you see this option is available now office 365 connector right so now what we need to do basically <coughs> we need to uh, configure this and add webhook okay now you see here it is asking for two things uh, url and the name right okay so <coughs> as you remember we have already have the url so i can just copy the whole url paste it here 
and now we need to provide a notification so in <coughs> place of notification i can put build notification okay now we need to select the status on what kind of status we should receive a notification okay so by default it is set up to uh, uh, success failure unstable and back to normal okay in case you want to select not, uh, notify on about about aborted of the uh, jenkins job that also you can select okay now rest uh, <coughs> we don't need to change anything and it's fine right now what we can do we can create a sample pipeline just for testing purpose so i can just go with the hello world okay <coughs> so let's save it and let me run this and let's see if we receive the notification or not okay so it is success and let's go back to jenkins and great you can see here notification from test job we received the notification that build is success and also <coughs> we can see who started the job right now let's see what happens when the job fails so let me do that as well so we will uh, make sure that job fails right so i will copy this and create the two stages with the same name which is not allowed so by default it is going to fail <coughs> so let me trigger it and immediately it failed okay let's see some status okay match status failure if we go here we should be yes see on success actually it did not give any specific link to view the build right <coughs> but when the build failed it gave us the link view build so that we can see the status right and you can see uh, yeah so this is very interesting as you can see now right that uh, whenever you trigger your build uh, it can send you notifications on your uh, google uh, microsoft teams okay basically how it was being used in my, in my previous company is that ki we would receive the um, like we had a specific job that used to run for multiple hours and whatever the status of that job we used to receive in the uh, microsoft teams channel okay so yeah this is really useful and i hope this was found useful by you as well so make sure to implement it and let me know if you are facing any issues so <coughs> that will be all for today and thanks for watching have a nice day team